If you encounter these issues while using MetroX, we recommend watching this tutorial. 1. To download RevoSkin 5 MetroX, click Download to get the software. Don't click on a Google Drive. 2. Place markers on or around the object before scanning using cross-line or parallel line scanning modes. 3. In cross-line and parallel line scanning modes, you whether the markers on the surface of the model have been successfully recognized, it can be used as a reference for adjusting the depth camera's exposure and laser brightness. Also, if overexposed, a red area will appear in the depth camera preview interface. For full field and auto turntable modes, adjust the depth camera's exposure if there are too many red areas representing overexposure, or too many blue areas representing underexposure. 5. In cross line or parallel line scanning mode, ensure the scanner detects at least 5 markers per frame. Otherwise, scanning interruptions or misalignment may occur. 6. Move the scanner slowly, especially at corners or edges, when doing a marker scan. Ensure the scanner captures multiple repeated markers from adjacent areas before proceeding to the next region. Otherwise, the software may indicate insufficient markers, causing interruptions or misalignment. 7. In both cross-line and parallel line modes, move the scanner steadily to prevent shaking. 8. Keep an eye on the distance indicator on the right side of the preview interface during scanning. Adjust the scanning distance to keep the distance bar green as much as possible. 9. Auto turntable mode uses high accuracy and single shot mode to capture point cloud data, so the scanning speed is low and stays around 2 to 4 frames per second. 10. In cross line and parallel line scanning modes, ensure the model is entirely green with no missing areas before clicking E Finish Scan to ensure final model quality.